Here are my 100 year old pillows. I can only sleep with this pillow and no other pillow. So it's disgusting. My daughter's pillows, spit up, milk, whatever on it. We're going to strip them with the laundry stuff. Fill back up. been about an hour as you can see very dirty so I drained the water and added clean water and here's the pillows now laptop spontaneously combusted in this bathroom. They said it just caught on fire with no other explanation. The floors and walls have already been repaired. This is all soot. four hours later. I bought a cloud couch dupe. I'm not ashamed because I'm not spending 20 grand on a couch. So this is the perfect fill in my opinion. I researched all of the dupes online for weeks and I settled on the city furniture, Nixon, which was 2,600 after shipping. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And before you say, tell me you don't got no kids without telling me you don't got no kids because it's white, I got two of those and I got a dog. So it's possible because I have other things in the house like this light colored couch, it's a light gray and also white, say it with me now, velvet dining room chairs, which still look great after a year of use thanks to these products. So Scotchgard is new to our house, but she's basically like waterproofing your vans, but waterproofing whatever you want. So I use this on the new couch. Olex is basically holy water in a bottle. It can get everything out of anything and it's the best thing I've ever used in my life, get it? Last but not least, Miss Little Green Machine. TikTok made me buy it, I have no regrets. She can get everything out of your furniture, your carpet, you name it.
what's funny? Being on TikTok in your late 20s is a daily reminder for me that I didn't grow up learning how to do my makeup or worrying about what I was wearing or learning a trendy new dance. But what I did grow up learning is how to clean and how to do it correctly. So today, instead of dwelling on the things I'm not good at, I focus on the things that I am good at. When I was younger, I found it so annoying that my mom was always trying to make me clean. When all I wanted to do was watch Disney Channel. But hey, that wasn't gonna win an argument. She told me that as long as I did my chores and that as long as I did it correctly, that I can have TV time. With that being said, I couldn't be more thankful now because cleaning is probably one of my favorite things to do. And one of the biggest compliments that I could ever receive is like, oh my God, you're so clean. Everything is so clean. I love hearing that. And yes, I am one of those people who think cleaning is fun. Don't hate. <laughs> Need a new obsession? Welcome to the oh-so-satisfying world of clean talk. Fall down that rabbit hole to tips, tricks, and hacks that make clean talk such a mesmerizing place.
there's one way you can solve that problem. Use a pumice scouring stick. It's a lava rock that you can buy inexpensively. The key is using it wet. Scrub off all those hard water stains, and as long as you use it wet, it will not scratch your throne. Frankie told me this morning that our garage sink was clogged and he wanted to call a guy friend over to unclog it. Oh, you're telling me a woman can't do it. Challenge accepted. First, we got to put our glam gloves on so we can look glamorous while we rail that bunghole. Highly suggest purchasing one of these things at Home Depot or Lowe's, but I'm a female, so what the hell do I know? We're not going to use that for today's activity. We're going to reach down deep into the guts to show you guys that it's not going down. Are you guys ready to see what was clogging up the drain? <laughs> Beautiful. Frankie's friend did come over and I accidentally deleted the clip. Took one look under the sink and he was like, you got this. You don't need me. Look what we pulled out. Delicious. It is time to rail your bunghole. A little bit better. Well, would you look at that? We did it.